In his time, he was one of the most famous men in the world, a celebrity scientist whose name was known across continents. Today, almost no one remembers his name. In the late 1700s, in the Age of Enlightenment, science is mostly about collecting. Scientists gather dead plants and animals, put them in boxes, and give them Latin names. It's a giant list of dead things. But Alexander von Humboldt, a restless, wealthy Prussian aristocrat, isn't satisfied. He believes there's a bigger picture, a unity of nature. After inheriting a fortune, he decides to spend it all on one epic journey to prove it. How did this one man change science from simply collecting to connecting? In 1799, Humboldt gets rare permission from the King of Spain to explore South America, a continent almost entirely closed off to foreigners. For five years, he and his partner Amy Bonpland trek over 9,000 kilometers or 6,000 miles. They don't just collect, they measure everything – air temperature, altitude, magnetic fields, the blueness of the sky. They paddle up the Orinoco River, proving it connects to the Amazon. The climax of their trip is climbing Chimborazo, a volcano in Ecuador then believed to be the tallest mountain in the world. But on that climb, Humboldt has his Eureka moment. He doesn't just see a mountain, he sees the entire planet in miniature. He sees how the plants change in distinct predictable zones as he climbs the same way they change when traveling from the equator to the poles. He realizes for the first time that everything is connected in a single global system. He invents the isotherm, lines of equal temperature, to map these connections. He's the first Westerner to see nature as an interconnected web, inventing the very idea of ecology. And, observing deforestation in Venezuela, he becomes one of the first scientists to document in writing that human activity could alter climate, warning that forest destruction would harm local environments. Humboldt returns to Europe a global hero. He spends the next 50 years writing Cosmos, a five-volume bestseller that explains his new interconnected vision of the universe to the public. John Muir, the father of America's national parks, is inspired by him. Simon Bolivar, the liberator of South America, calls him the true discoverer of the new world. Humboldt's revolution wasn't a new continent, but a new way of seeing. He was the first Westerner to see the world as a single, living, interconnected system. He's the forgotten father of environmentalism, and every climate scientist, ecologist, and naturalist today is, in some way, one of his descendants.